I did this, you tried that. You copy me, that's my swag. That's my style, give it back. Three words. I said trick! Hey creeps, and welcome back to my channel. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP, and that is pretty on purpose. Y'all asked for it. Y'all were on my live. Y'all was like, don't need a mukbang. We need a mukbang. We need a story time. So, girl, okay. Damn, y'all is so pushy. Stop being so pushy ishy. Okay, so I went to my favorite place. Y'all know, I, I just, I know y'all want me to eat something new. So, in the comments. Oh, before we start, y'all like this video up. Can we get it to 10,000 likes? Because I know this video is going to get a lot of views because y'all rock with me and I fuck with y'all. So can we get 10,000 likes on this video? Thank you. Thank y'all got lazy. Um, but yeah. What was I going to say? Oh, if y'all want me to eat something else, let me know. I just really, 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 really love seafood. When I talk to y'all, it's just... Seafood is like so therapeutic. It's just like real... I don't know, it's like my go-to happy place besides my car. Oh, I almost got mad. I said, what the fuck, my lobster? Okay. Oh, uh, look, I'm licking my lips. I'm already, I said, mm, my lobster. <laughs> um, yeah, so put in the comments what y'all want me to eat and I'll go get some food that y'all want to see me eat. If it's like, you know, spaghetti, pasta, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, why this shit smell like shit? Ooh, this stink. I think it's that lobster. Ooh, this, this smells spoil. Ooh, this smells spoil. See, Juicy Crab, I, I don't know. Y'all know what y'all got going on, but it smells spoil, Juicy Crab. Maybe it's the egg. I don't ever get egg, and it's that lobster. This smells spoil. This came out the creek. <laughs> that didn't come out the sea. That came out the creek. I don't like that. <laughs> Ooh, that really got a little twang to it. Ooh, I'm still eating up. <laughs> I'm still eating up because the God I serve. Oh! The God I serve. He ain't gonna let nothing bad happen to me. I know y'all lie. Right. Okay, well, God, yes. God is great. God is good. Let us thank him for our food. By your hands we are fed. Give the Lord, give us, Lord, our daily bread. My Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Lord, this food smells spoil. Uh, I'm going to still eat it, though, because they said anything that you touch, you will cleanse. And I'm asking that you cleanse this from the inside Clean it from the inside out so they can nourish me from the inside out. Um, Lord, I ask that you been in the kitchen while they made this. If they dropped it on the floor, got it out of the trash can. You remove anything that was on this before it got to me. Um, I, I just want you to be with me while I eat this food. Guide me, guide it down my mouth, down my esophagus, into my stomach, and let it do what it need to do. I know I'm eating it real late at night time, so I ask you, Jesus, that you call my stomach like some Pepto Bismol, that I don't have to worry about the bubble guts. Oh, while I'm in the bed. Please, the Lord Jesus, make sure you comfort me. So I can have a peaceful sleep. Because I don't want to get up having the runs. Because you know when I eat this hot spicy food. Because once you get old. Oh, hallelujah somebody. Once you get old, that stomach cannot handle that spicy hot food late at night. And I'm up in the age now. That when you eat this food. It will wreck your gut. So I ask that you be a shield. No weapon formed against me if the weapon is lobster, egg, potato, and shrimp, and crab. Formed against me shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Amen. What was it? Let's eat this food, y'all. I am so hungry. That long prayer. Oh, that Arizona be hitting. Oh, that be hitting for a good little dollar. This is the best dollar you could ever spend is on this Fruit Punch Arizona, baby. This ain't nothing. Y'all see that? I ain't y'all said it in the makeup girl. So y'all see that? Fruit Punch Arizona for a dollar. 
Okay, y'all, so look, check this out. Um, I want to talk about, oh my God, the time I had got, it, I told y'all about one fight. So there's another fight I had got in, right? I was talking to, ooh, let me eat some of the food first. It better be the doo-doo in this thing, because I didn't pray about the doo-doo, did I? Ooh, I don't forgot to pray about the doo-doo. It look clean today. I don't know who was up there. I got cold. I see my microwave. See, it was, it's room temperature. I should have did this when I got home. I had to take a shower in there. It even got a little cold. I should have threw this in the oven. Put a little heat on it. Yeah, because my microwave messed up. Y'all, I had messed my microwave up. Um, So, I'm getting another one. Spence Post the big had it. I don't know what I'm waiting on. I'm just so lazy. I procrastinate. It's some good shrimp. <clears throat> yeah, I ain't get spoiled shrimp all the time. This spoiled shrimp is shrimp, man. Mmm. I don't know that's real. Oh, now this is it. Who cooked this? <laughs> Who cooked this? This is not the juicy special. Oh, yes, it is. I'm, I'm, getting, a little, I'm getting a little heat in my throat now. Oh, that shrimp is really shrimp, bro. Okay, so anyway. Um, I was, I was hanging out with my cousin DJ. I know DJ's a little short stud that I'd be hanging out with, right? <coughs> Ooh, skin! <coughs> oh! Uh! <coughs> I know you lying. Ooh, see, I prayed and everything. Oh, this ain't a good sign. <coughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta be careful. Slow down. Oh, that skin. Y'all like when you, ladies, when you give a hand, you know, some of y'all, um, sugar, sugar foot. You know, when you, um, eating, I mean, sucking dick, and a little hair gets stuck in your throat, that's what they have felt like. Oh, I be hanging that. Oh, no, that's doo doo. Oh, that's, that's doo doo, ain't it? Oh, that's, is that a vein or is that, oh, that's due to the shrimp ain't got no vein, do they? Oh, I'm still eating it up when I'm wiping it off. Oh, that's due to, oh, look at it hanging. Oh, that's due to. Oh, God, this is the extra blessing. God, as I get ready to eat this, I done cleaned it off. But please, <laughs> do what you do. I remember when I, um, I was looking at the thing. When they kill these, that's dude. Who is that? That's, uh, this is their body. My friend and them tried to tell me that's, that's doo doo and meat that I be eating out the, uh, crab. Y'all, yeah, I be feeling like that's so good. Like, oh, this is the best part. Bitch, are you shit in mouth? <laughs> That is doo doo, ain't it? Somebody put it in the comments. I'll read the comments. Trouble, shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. You ain't barked all this time until I got this camera on. Then you want to act up. Shut the hell up. It's like he know when I get on the camera, then he want to start. Roo, 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 roo. Nigga, you want to roof it until I got on the camera. Shut up. Anyway, I bet y'all like, girl, get to the story. Okay, okay. So I was with my cousin DJ, right? And at this time, this is when I lived with her. So um, she was work she was working at, well, oh, she's still at Kroger. She's been working at Kroger for a long time. But I was living with her off of Boulder Crest. And, um, you know, I was excited because, you know, I'm like, ooh, ooh, all the niggas, it's just hood niggas over here. Because, you know, I'm from, I live out there in McDonough, Georgia. So there ain't nothing but a bunch of country men out there, right? And white dudes. So I'm on Boulder Crest. I'm like, ooh, those niggas is accessible. You know, they got the, they got um, they got the train out here. They got all this stuff out here. They can easily push up and come see you now. You know, at McDonough, girl, if you ain't got no car, ain't nobody coming to see you because that's almost an hour drive just to come get some pussy. And by the time they get there, they sleep and go to bed. I don't want to do nothing with me. So there's this dude she was working with, and um, she lived in these apartments. With her best. Oh, wait. Was I living on Boulder Crystal at the time? Or that's when I moved into my apartment. 
Yeah, she was living with her best friend, Robert. Mm -hmm. Hey, Robert. And I was living in my apartment at the time. So I came to see her, and I think the dude worked, no, yep, the dude worked in the apartment complex. And she was living with her friend, Robert. So we went to the party, because he was throwing a party, and he was straight. Nobody knew our team, nobody knew nothing, job. I'm chilling, so you know, I got like, I don't know him. I'm in there hanging out, you know, this looking good, real classy and cute. You know, everybody else is real hood and get up. But I liked it. So I was like the girl that was from out of town. You know, you know, you could tell when a girl from out of town, when a girl ain't like, from your area, you're like, oh, who is she? What's she bringing to the table? Bitch, I bring in beauty. So I walk in and I'm chilling, I'm talking. He speaks to me because, you know, that's when buying the stuff was around. So, it ain't like he just talking to this gay dude. <coughs> so, the party going on, it's good. He talking to bitches, I'm getting jealous cause you know, I gotta let him talk to girls, gotta do his thing cause he gotta keep his image. So, child, he is in the room doing powder, y'all. He doing powder, he getting high, just acting a fool, like just doing a whole lot. I'm like, oh my God, this is too much. And I'm just like, he finna act up in here. So, I'm talking to a dude at the, at the, at the, um, at the sofa. I guess he get jealous. Or whatever the case may be. And he comes up. Child. Hot as fuck. And he pushed me. Everybody, what the fuck is going on? But you know, <clears throat> I really can't say shit. Because don't nobody know nothing. Don't nobody know team. Don't nobody know nothing. So I'm just like, what's going on? What's going on? And child, he can't say shit. So he trying to play it off, but really he mad because I'm talking to the dude. So girl, I got to fight. I got to fight because I'm not going to look stupid in front of these people. I didn't think it was going to push me. And folks know who the fuck I am. Oh, girl. What are some people from the party watching this? And remember that day. I'm like, oh, girl, he gay. No, I think he came out now. <laughs> Anyway, I don't give no fuck. Bitch, he ain't gonna fight me. Um, so, oh shit. So, he, um, so when I go at him, girl, he pushed me again, right? We've been drinking, so a bitch a little, you know, a bitch a little, little whoop, 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 you know, a little wobbly, girl. I fall. You know how people had them glass tables that they have in the middle of the um, living room? Girl, uh, the coffee table. I fall into the coffee table. That thing shattered. I said, "Ah!" Oh! You know, I, I just, it felt like I fell so, so like in the movie. She said, "Nigga, ah!" I fall. That glass table broke. It said, "All the glass just broke everywhere." In my mind, I'm like, "Oh, this nigga trying to kill me." <laughs> I'm like, this nigga trying to kill me? Oh, that's an yeah. It's because if you put me into a glass table, you trying to kill me. Because that glass could have broke and went in my back. You don't know if it would have hit the floor. Ooh, this is a, this is a fried shrimp, baby. This is my heart. Ooh, that's not a good shrimp. But I eat the one with the doo-doo on it. See how stupid I am? But I can't eat the hard one. So I'm like, this could have killed me, bitch. I black out. And if anybody know how Gemini's get when we are really like, what the fuck going on? We black out. You don't want to fight a Gemini when they done turn crazy. When they done turn crazy, what the freak? You don't want to fight them. So I blacks out. I get up. I see a beer bottle. I grab it. I said, bah! That shit broke. Then he come, we fight. My cousin like, what the fuck going on? I can't, it was me, DJ, my cousin, um, Nard, he big, real swole, hood ass nigga. My cousin Tony and his wife had just left. And uh, he lucky, cause baby, they would've worked. And I think my cousin Jamal came, did he come? I don't know, but baby, that they would have worked his ass. So I'm fighting my cousin Nard, like, what the fuck going on, fuck going on? So, a minute ago, we fighting. I'm fine, we fine. 
Yeah, yeah girl, you got me. <laughs> you got me, girl. Got me. And what I mean by that here, got me a little chokehold. You know, and if somebody gets in that chokehold, it's over with. You can't breathe it. <laughs> he choking me. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> oh shit. Oh god, I choke for real. I'm choking like, oh my god. So now I'm really like, oh shit, he trying to kill me a second time. <laughs> I'm like, he trying to kill me a second time. This nigga crazy. So, um, and he was hot to. So when my cousin saw like, okay, my cousin was winning at first, but now this bitch needs some help. <laughs> because he started choking me. And that chokehold, so my cousin came up. Y'all, when I tell you my cousin, Nard, you know how some people, you gotta get up and you gotta go, wow, or right, whatever you punch somebody. Baby, I ain't never seen somebody stand so still and just go like this, bah, and knock somebody, baby. He knock the fuck out that nigga jaw. That nigga jaw dropped like, it looked like the screen man. Or like, ooh, when they, you know when people saw the girl out the ring, when she came out, when she caught the TV, she looked at me like, that's how he looked. And I, I said, oh, my God, baby. I didn't even think about that shit. Uh, they say he popped his uh, jaw back in, but they say he said, Pop. I didn't even see it though. I ran, I didn't run. Let me fix that up. I booked it to the car. Because I was like, oh, shit, okay. Okay, you wanna kill me? Oh, you wanna kill me? That's what I kept saying, like, oh, you wanna kill me? You wanna kill me? I got something for you. I got something for you. Oh, baby, I done turned crazy now. I go to the car. <coughs> I was driving a, a Honda at the time. It was a white Honda, baby. Her name was Snow White. I was driving a Honda. Huh? Um, we're so good. I get to the car and girl, I drive toward the house. I'm I'm gonna run this house now, baby. Oh, I'm running into the house. What's apartment? You on the bottom floor? I'm gonna park my car in your living room, baby. <laughs> Peekaboo, I see you. So I'm like, hmm. they're like, oh. So girl, I'm driving out, and he come out. Oh baby, he thought I was gonna stop because he came out the door acting like he's like, what's up, what's up, what's up? I'm like, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up nigga? So girl, I drive, keep driving. I'm like, oh girl, I'm getting a charge today. Take me to jail, lock me up. So girl, I'm driving towards him, and I guess he thought I wasn't finna stop, so Russia Roulette, here we go. I get close to him and he jump out the way because he's like, this motherfucker crazy. He jump out the way and he grab onto the um the side mirror. I'm like, oh, you want to play, nigga? So I turn the wheel. Ooh, we like this. He holding on like this. Baby, I wanted him to go under the car so bad. I'm like, he for the fuck I want him to go on the car so I can go. I want to do that, baby. I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to do it again. And one more time. I wanted to do that, but he went far. So he, um, somebody, it was some man, I don't even remember his face. It was some man that had a cane and he was with a girl. Well, whoever the fuck she was. And, um, he said, Oh, you crazy. And he said, Bah, my whole window says, My passenger window. You knock my window out, child. Knock my window out of my car. Oh, I was gonna hit his ass too. But the dude fell out. He was like, just go. Just go. One girl said, I didn't call the police. I didn't call the police. Okay, bitch, call him, bitch. Call him, bitch. My right, girl, what's up? This nigga, y'all wanna say this shit, but this nigga dropped me into the table. But oh, when a bitch gets stupid, now it's called the police. Oh, call him, bitch. Fuck is you talking about? Call him. So my cousin said, Zo, Zo. My cousin Nar said, oh, no, nah, come on, Zo, we gotta go. We gotta go. You done tried to hit this nigga and, and um, they done bust the window, cuz. We gotta go, cuz. You drunk. And so I'm like, okay, okay, okay. 
So, bitch, we book it. I get my car. I say, ah! I say, y'all, get me better help, me better help. Ah! So, girl, we speed out. And, bitch, I ain't heard from old buddy since. Hey, I can I can rock that mug, baby. I'm telling y'all, I was going to run him over. I kid you not. I kid you not. I was so mad. Cause I just feel like you put my life in danger. You really tried to kill me by throwing me into a glass table. So it's only right I return the favor, baby. What you talking about? Oh, right, we're gonna go talk to you. I get home. I'm like, shit, my window. Window just shattered. Glass hit me in the eye on the way home. I'm like, ah, damn, it was cold. It was like late at night, too. That was all over it. I used to be a little Thundercat. Oh, that is so rubbery. I used to be a little Thundercat in these streets, mama. A good Thundercat in these streets. There was another time. And then I was like a... I was like, you know, back in the day, girl, I was real, she's a real cute girl, like. Mm. <sighs> I'm cute now. But baby, back then when you had like that little, that little, you know, that real fresh face, it was so tenderoni-ish, you know what I'm saying? And um, no facial hair, youthful. Just, ooh, just so pure. Baby, oh, you couldn't tell me shit. I don't give a fuck who you are, who. Okay, I know I look good, girl. Like, just, I knew I look good. Like, that's what I, ooh, I knew I look good. And, girl, I flirted with everybody, man. I didn't care who you were. I flirted with everybody, man. I was a flirtatious little thing. I wasn't fucking up. Well, I was some girl. What? <laughs> I was a flirtatious little something. So, I don't know if you're from Atlanta, there was a place called West the Club. We always went to West the Club. That's where the niggas was. The niggas was always in West the Club on the east side. Oh, what's that? Off of 20. And um, I was in a gay family. We was called the Regettas. Regetta! Regetta! Uh, uh, Regetta! Uh, if y'all watch me, Regettas, I miss y'all. My gay mama was Renaya. I mean, um, Janaya. I had my auntie school. What's up, school? And then um, I was in the mailbox. All of us. Uh, 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 Woody and my sister Woody, what's up, Ben Woo? She always fought with the Tri City Foot with her. Uh, who else, girl? It was a lot of us, girl. We was so motherfucking banshee, girl. Um, uh, the girls didn't like us. We was the biggest gay family in uh, Atlanta. Like, we were so huge. But there was another one called, ooh, the Degachis. Ooh, they did not like me. Them girls didn't like me. I could, ooh, girl, I could tell y'all so many stories. They did not like me. Them girls tried to fight me at the club, girl. I tell about that another time. We were talking about this one time. So it was my family, the Regettas, and we was gonna fight this other family. Uh, I wasn't gonna fight the family, but the girl was gonna fight me. Everybody wanted to fight me, girl. Uh, because I was just so cute and I just had a real sassy mouth, girl. And then, girl, I just took the girls in. Brr, brr, brr. Uh, what was they called? Regettas and then Zion's crew was called Regettas. Oh god, what was they called, girl? Regetta and um let me call my sister. Hold on. Let me call my sister, girl. She gonna tell me, girl. Hold on, girl. Let me call my sister. Hold on. Call my sister real quick. Hold on. Pick up Tidy Girl. She usually always pick up me. Tidy. Okay, so I'm doing a mug name, but I need you to answer this question for me, okay? Okay. Okay, our family was called the Regettas. What was Zion family called? Oh my gosh. Aviance. Aviance! Okay, and what was Brandon's family called? I can't think of what Brandon's family was called. Because I'm telling a story about when we was with a fight at Wesley Club. <laughs> Destiny. Okay, thank you, girl. Bye, fool. <laughs> okay, so we was forget us. 
Then I had this other crew. They went to Clay. It was a bunch of they went to Clayton State. They was they was the South Side girls. We was the East Side Atlanta girls. Whatever you know, all East Side Decatur, DeKalb County, all that. We was from Atlanta. And then you had the Clayton County girls. They was called Avian. That's Zion Randall. They went to Clayton Clayton State University. Whatever. Well, she did, but she housed the girls. And then you had Destinies. Oh, they live like in the Marietta, that north side of Atlanta. So anyway, Brandon was Mother Audience. Brian, I know Brandon was Mother Destiny. And so, uh, ah! <laughs> so anyway, um, there was this dude, R.I.P. Rest his soul. Oh my God, he was so fun. He just passed. Um, his name was Charles. I think that was his name, Charles. I don't know what my sister takes me. She said we were regatta, not not regatta. I know that girl. That's what I was saying. Hold on, girl. She uh... girl. I was saying regatta, like re like getta, getta, getta. I was saying that girl regatta. I know wretched wretched ass ghetto bitches. What it stood for? I know this vibe, girl. So um, anyway. Uh, so Brandon was dating this dude named Charles. Charles was so fine, y'all. But Charles also was a little mess. He was, he was, he was flirting with me. And uh, I guess I can tell the whole real, real tea now because you know we all grown now. She put a girl. She might want to bop me my head. But um, her and Charles was like this. They was a cute little couple. And but Charles, me and him shared a gay son. Rest his soul too. He got hit by a crash. My ex boyfriend. His name was Keith. Keith fine ass. We shared a ch um a child, right? Well, he wasn't really my. He was my child because I was dating his. Di well, <laughs> I'm telling it to you. <laughs> I wasn't dating Charles because Charles was dating Brandon, but me and Charles was like really really cool. So Keith was calling me mama. Anyway, whatever. So, um, we end up going to Wesley Club, you know, just to hang out, whatever case it be. And I guess she was peeping tea that me and Charles was kind of closer than what friends were supposed to be. So, girl, she like, what the, like, I, can't, I don't want to say word for word what she was saying, but she was like, she came, like, she wasn't there. Yeah, she wasn't there, but I think she got, the girl's gossip. And I think she got word I was there because I was going to come here to see him because I knew he stayed there with Moses. Oh, Moses was cute too. So I knew she was, I, I would go there to see Moses and then my sister Woody was, that was, she was like, you know, sisters from another family with all them, whatever. Anyway, it's just so confusing. So anyway, to the story, we there flirting, whatever case it may be. I guess she got wind and I was over there, child, and she ended up coming. It was her and her girls, honey. It was her, Darius, wait, her, Daryl. Not my Daryl, it's another Daryl. He beat you. He tried to fight me too, girl. Oh my God, because his boyfriend spent the night at my <laughs> But this was just a whole lot of, whole lot of, this was just a bunch of men. We was a hot pocket back then, but I love all them. Anyway, so she came to the house and then we busted like, we going at it. I mean, literally going at it when she came in there. What the fuck going on? Why are you here? Woo, woo, woo. I don't want to put words on her mouth. But she was over it. So then I'm like, okay, bitch, come outside. Charles like, no, don't y'all fight, don't fight, don't fight. I'm like, fuck this shit, fuck this shit. Like, cause bitch, I'm already ready to go. Cause I already know my sister Woody ain't gonna let nobody touch me. And then I already know my sister Tavi was there, so ain't no more motherfucking happy, bitch. Ain't no more motherfucking happy, bitch. So I'm like, okay, let's go outside, let's go outside. Sorry, y'all, I'm not touched, so I'm sorry. Look at all this. So I go outside, she come outside. Bitch, we going at it. And then, um... I'm like, my sister's time said, get in the car, though. Well, back then, my name was Peanut. Get in the car, Peanut. Get in the car. I'm like, okay, bitch, I'm getting in the car. So I get in the car, I said, this bitch come to my door. I'm the, I swear to God, I'm going to beat her ass. And so she comes to my side of the door, and I slam the door. And I try to slam her hand in the door. So she moved that, and then she goes to the other side. Well, my sister's Tommy was Tommy's like, nah, y'all, y'all stop, y'all stop. I said, Tommy, I'm gonna stab this bitch. So I got my little knife out my pocket, or whatever. I said, I'm gonna stab this bitch, I'm gonna stab this bitch. So I ended up stabbing my friend Tommy. And then she's like, let's go, I told you, let's go, let's go. So then, girl, I ended up pulling my girl. I'm like, oh my God, this is so mad. This is so mad. Girl, I used to be a thunder I was a stepper, girl. I was a stepper girl, but I was a mess. Like, I didn't try to ruin families. <laughs> I 
just flirted. I love to, oh shit. I love to flirt and to this day I still flirt. Like I like to flirt. I don't even be wanting you, but I just like to flirt. Like I love flirting. I love flirting. Like that's why I think a lot of straight guys get confused when I flirt. And they be like, I'm, I'm straight though. I, mean, I don't even want you for real. I'm really just flirting because I just like to flirt with masculine energy. Uh, I don't know. Mm -mm. I mean, my sister Woody almost fought one time <laughs> because of her nigga. She thought I wanted her man. Now, that's the only fight I was kind of scared of. Because Woody could throw down, baby. That's the fight I knew I was going to have to. <laughs> Baby, I was gonna have to leave it all on the floor. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I was gonna have to leave it all on the floor. One mess up, over with. One mess up, you dead, girl. <laughs> mm -mm. You better not slip, you better not miss a hit. It's all the way for you, boo. What could find? Oh, I'm gonna tell you one more story and we'll come. It was on, it, it's the boy, he my child now. He my gay child now to this day. Um, his name is Jameson. I love him so much, he's so fine, so beautiful. That's my baby. Um, I was dating a guy named Devin. Uh -uh. Devin was fine, he came from Indianapolis. Or uh, what, Indiana, Indiana, whatever. And um, fine as hell, light skin. Goals. Oh, baby, fine. That nigga was fine. He was so hood. And, like, you know, this one, you know, there wasn't a bunch of, like, gay really wasn't, like, a thing then. Like, well, you couldn't really, like, come out like that. And, like, how everybody's so free now in high school and it's so accepting now. Like, back then, it wasn't really, like, like they had, oh, what they had back in the day? Thug out Tuesdays and Blackout, something. It, ooh, baby, the niggas was out. Like everybody looked like dudes, even though some might have been. There was, I think, it was more tops in London back then. It was a lot of tops. If they weren't tops, they looked like a top. But now everybody's just so skinny jean. So, what? What are you? <laughs> so, um, it was Pride. I went to Pride, and um, Devin was out there because he used to start the drugs to the girls, honey. He um. You know, he sold the pills, the powder, the weed and stuff. That's my nigga, the yeah. yeah, um, he was a mess, though. He was a hot mess. Like, he was a mess. Uh, he was cheating on me and everything, but I, he was a mess. And so there was this girl. Well, you need some boy, but I said girl. A girl named Jameson, who's now my child. Um, we was, I, I went out there myself. It was me, Woody, Anthony, Chavi, Daryl. Scooter, Z the Zion whole crew. It's like it's a lot of us. We 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 stomp. We pumped out with like 20, 30 people every time, just stomping. So you knew not to fight us because if you fought one, baby, you fighting them all. So um, I oh my god, another fight. So um, I'm out there. I talking to my baby. You know what I'm saying? They in the car. They in the middle of the street. You no, know, because they had that big ass car and they, like people see them. I walk up to the car. I'm like, baby, where you gonna go? Y'all finna go home. Y'all finna get up out of here. I'm like, okay, I'm like, me and my girls finna go, whatever, whatever. I lean in, I kiss them, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, all right, whatever, whatever. Mind you, we're doing this in the middle of, like, the street, you know, and back then, it was off of 10th Street. I think that's what it was, yeah, 10th Street by the uh, Varsity and stuff. That's what Pride used to be. There was a club called 708. Everybody went there. And so it's the street right there. Everybody see us. And I know that little bitch seen us kiss. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, you saw us. Yeah, I, I could call you now though because I call you bitch now. Um, and so I'm like, okay, girls, let's go. Me and my girls, we booking and we leaving. Somebody called and say, Zo, I think your man out here with some little girl. I said, what? They said, girl, your man out here with some little girl. I turn back around. I see this bitch getting, like, she finna get in the car. No, she got in the car. She got in the car. I said, no, 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 no. She was finna get in the car. And I'm like, I walk up there, I said, what the fuck going on? I said, what is this? 
And then she said, hi, huh? bitch, you heard me. What the fuck is this? What's going on? Like, girl, you just saw me at this car, bitch. I ain't no groupie. I don't just come out in these streets kissing nobody no motherfucking mouth, ho. Who the fuck is this? And what's, what's going on? And then the bitch go tell me they go together. What? What? What is what? What you said? I said, oh, I'm finna gut this bitch like a fish. I said, I said, what do y'all? I'm finna gut this all. I said, I'm finna, I'm finna, cause I kept me a good knife on me. You know, nobody had guns ready. Y'all carry guns now. Even though I knew how to fight, when I really wanted to make a statement, I don't wanna go, well, yeah, I wanna kill her. I said, oh, Susu, so I'm finna gut this bitch. She said, don't do that, so I don't do that, so you'll go to jail, girl. Don't do that over no nigga, girl. Don't do that. Woody was always trying to make me stop fighting, but when she wanted to fight, don't touch me, don't talk to me, girl. First of all, girl, when I do want to fight, you tell me that. Blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I said, I'm gonna gut this bitch like a fish. So, um, I, I, cause I had walked away, and I was like, cause I, you know, I had to cool off, cause I was really, really hurt that little girl. And, um, what you want, look, she around our age, child, but you know, when you, when you want a little girl, a bitch, you gotta call her little girl, little girl. So, uh, I walked away, and I was like, y'all finna cut this bitch, I promise you right now, I'm finna, I'm finna do this shit. She's like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. So, I walked back with my knife and everything, girl. I walked back, and Woody like, don't do this, y'all, don't do this, y'all, and my other girls, they just like, well, it's whatever, girl, if you go, girl, we go with it, girl. And Woody's like, don't do that, bitch, don't do that, sis, it ain't even worth that, sis. And so, um... I, I looked at her, I said, you know what? Fuck you and fuck him. I said, you can have him, bitch. I said, these girls just saved your life, huh? And so, girl, we left. He come calling me. What the fuck? What was all that about? What's that? I said, go call your little bitch. Because I guess she went home with him that night. And I hear her in the background. And then, um, what had happened? What happened? I think we came back out the other night. I think it was still Pride. And I saw her. And I think I ended up getting her number. Did I get her number that next night? Or did I get it some other time? Anyway, I got the bitch number. And I said, um, I didn't talk to you. And so we started talking on the phone. She told me how long they was dating, how long they was talking. I mean, she done went over there a lot of other times. I'm like, damn, he done seen you right after he saw me. And so this is kind of like why I start, like sh um, pulled away from dating gay dudes. Because it was just it was just so messy. Like, like messy. Like, messy. Gay niggas just be horny. I'm not saying uh, girl, they be horny, sneaky. I know niggas in general, people in general like that, but it's, it's just different when it's like, when you're two men, because it's just like, now it's like intensified, and then you're everybody horny, and just the egos, and uh, and like, uh, no, uh, who gonna submit? But anyway, um, we start talking, and all that, and I was just like, girl, okay, so he was seeing you after he saw me, and woo, 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 yada, yada, yada. And then uh, I said, you know what, fuck this nigga. I said, I'm gonna make you my gay child, girl. I said, fuck that shit. And um, she was, she was a few years younger than me. And I was like, I'm gonna make you my gay child, girl. And you could just, you know, fuck me. I was like, fuck this nigga. So we both stopped talking to him. This was like years ago. Like years ago. And like, we're still friends now. Off of a nigga who was playing both of us. That shit crazy. That shit is crazy, 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 crazy. But yeah. Yeah, I can tell y'all so many fights. I'm not gonna hold y'all too long because it's late at night. It's um 9 o'clock here. I say the Marquette fight for another time. We shut down the whole club. Because <laughs> of me. Because, oh shit. Because of me. <laughs> I was just, I was a fight starter. <laughs> what would you call that? I just was that girl, honey. But, um, we did chat. Oh, yeah, I, oh, yeah, I, I don't think I like lobster like that. My stomach feels a little like I'm about to throw up. I don't know, that lobster and this sweet, I don't think that's a good combination. Oh, God. I don't like that. But, uh, yeah, so, I think that's long enough for y'all. I'm sorry. This is throwing off my mindset now. Like, my stomach is like. <laughs> so I gotta stop. Mm -hmm. Oh, that can't even drive. I gotta throw up. I gotta throw up. Look at my shirt, just acting stupid. This how I'm gonna leave that bitch. <laughs> Mm. 
Japan was. Who is? Regatta! Regatta! <laughs> Regatta! Regatta! What's that? I don't think I'm turning to a. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm turning to a lobster. <laughs> Good God. Um, but okay, y'all. This lobster done fucked my head up. What is that? There you go. What is that? That's a little piece of hair, ain't it? Oh, God, I heard the blood. God, I got a blessing. Jesus, look. <laughs> I come to you now. Right now. That was hair in my food. I told you to take your hand and put it on. I rebuke it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank y'all for watching this with me. I knew my stomach started hurting for some reason. And that was some pain now. Um, God only made one you. <laughs> if you don't be you, then nobody else will. And so then.